And I'm J.R. Berry. We are at the State House here in Columbia, where, as you can see, we have a huge crowd out here for a marriage equality rally. They are saying same-sex marriage needs to be legal all across the United States, not just here in South Carolina, but, of course, they want it here in our state as well. This has been a hot topic, of course, a controversial topic for quite a while. In fact, the U.S. Supreme Court today started hearing arguments about same-sex marriage, namely Proposition 8 in California. A large number of people gathered outside the Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C. to show support for Proposition 8. Now, if the, uh, if the hearings, if, if the words that were said in that hearing today are any indication, it appears that the court may not uh, be happy that they're having to hear these arguments because some of the justices were saying they simply didn't believe that this issue should be in front of them. So it remains to be seen what they decide in the long run. They'll be debating more, hearing more tomorrow about same-sex marriage. Now, here in South Carolina, you have people who are for and people who are against same-sex marriages. Our Jasmine Stiles ventured out today and she talked to people on both sides. It's one thing for someone to be able to get married in another state, but then to come back to South Carolina and put their wedding photos on their desk and be fired for who they are? There are no protections for gay and lesbian people in employment. Ryan Wilson married his partner in Maryland early this year. South Carolina doesn't recognize that marriage. We're only seen as roommates in the state of South Carolina. Prop 8 is just one example of how state by state people are voting on the rights of a minority. Orrin Smith, president of the Palmetto Family Council, feels like he's part of the majority nationwide and doesn't want to see the definition of marriage changed. 30 states have passed amendments to their constitution declaring marriage to be between one man and one woman. For Smith, it's an issue each state should decide. They don't really need to circumvent the citizens in order to get some result that they may think is the way to go. While Wilson would like all states to recognize his marriage. There's over a thousand different legal benefits that come with the term marriage. And while civil marriage and religious marriage are very different, sometimes those lines are blurred. But both realize the Supreme Court decision could impact the world around them. One commentator I heard put it this way, and that is the, the question is not really about the altar, meaning who stands at the altar, but are we going to alter society? It is not just about what I need. It's what about we as a better society can have. Jasmine Stiles, News 19 WLTX. All right, uh, Jasmine, thank you so very much. Now, we caught up today with Republican Senator Tim Scott, and while he is opposed to gay marriage, he did say that the topic should be up for discussion. Take a listen. I mean, I'm, I'm still in the same place that I've always been, that marriage is defined between a man and a woman without any question from my perspective. But, yeah, the country is having a real debate on who we are and what should be permissible, and I think that we'll come to an answer. And the good news is that uh, people are going to have to agree to disagree without being completely disagreeable. Well, we have again a good crowd here on the State House grounds, all in support of same sex marriage. And, Darcy, I'm going to tell you, just as I did at 5 30 on Friends at 5, I did walk the grounds of the State House here. Usually, when you have controversial issues such as this, usually, when you have controversial issues such as gay marriage in South Carolina, you expect protesters. But today, for whatever reason, I don't see any protesters out here on the State House grounds. That's the story from here. We're going to send it back to you in the studio, Darcy. JR, thank you so much. And maybe it is not the controversy we thought that it was in our state.